sometimes you don't get an opportunity to, to actually engage them because they're so wrapped up into the defense mode. But this one somehow let me give her normal treatment, so. Okay, here we go. A snake without a box. Yeah. All the rigs aren't perfect. Oh. Oh. So, we tried to pull magic. Oh, that's not what I, the kind of magic I want. Okay, girls, she's being really calm. She's really a docile snake on the norm, but that being said, those are eggs she's trying to protect. She doesn't know better that I'm the good guy. Maybe somehow if I handle her a little bit, maybe she'll figure it out. I don't normally can get a chance to do it this way, but ooh, look at that. There's a lot of good eggs. That's a lot of eggs for the size female she is. Oh, so she's, she'll protect her eggs. And so she sees things moving. I think we're okay. I think she's gonna let me take them away without too much, too much problems, but. Sometimes you don't get an opportunity to, to actually engage them because they're so wrapped up into the defense mode. But this one somehow let me give her normal treatment. So look at that. I didn't think there was that many fertile eggs. That's way better than I thought it was. And they're small ones too. So that's gonna be like 40 eggs. That being said, oh, look at that. Oh, that's a lot of eggs for one female. So there's one infertile one. We'll go give that to a monitor. I don't even know who the dad is on this one. I have to check. It's a beautiful sun tiger. Yeah, she, albino. And uh, she looks great. Good body weight. Perfect body weight. Perfect clutch of eggs. So let's see what we actually ended up with here. They're gonna take about 84 days to hatch. They were laid last night and I forgot to get them out. But the good news is it looked like they made it perfectly good through the night. Temperature was right, none of them got dried out looking. That's good, so now I gotta keep them up in the upright position. I wanna get all this paper out. So in the last clutch, we actually ripped an egg getting it out. Happens once in a while, pretty rarely, but does happen and uh, the reason why we people ask all the time why do you take the eggs from the snake well typically the mom stressed out of her mind she was pretty good with it she didn't have too much stress over it it looks like and it gives her an opportunity to actually go back on food soon so you can see that these eggs are pliable and like i said they're all glued together i got to keep them up in their upright position because there's a little embryo that's already at the top that's actually already two months old just about 54 days so 54 to 56 days ago this this one actually created the eggs inside and shelled them off and uh, we got it down to where we kind of time everything pretty good and know whatever it takes that's why we know these will take about 84 days now that's a lot these eggs are smaller than normal so i'm hoping we get more eggs in than i think that normally these box hold about 30. i think this can be closer to 30 than 40. i mean closer to 40 than 30. they're small eggs they're very really, very small eggs normal size about 50 percent bigger than these eggs I did, all you gotta do is get the box closed so they're okay together and but i can't have it where they touch the top because the moisture will get them too wet if they're too dry they don't do well either so if they're too too deep some of the eggs in the middle won't get enough water man there's a lot of eggs yeah i think even with that infertile one i think we're gonna make really close to 40. and these are reticulated pythons and uh, they're the largest snakes in the world anacondas are considered the heaviest snake in the world uh, but typically don't break the 22 23 foot very often okay i think we can count them here you can help count them you already counting them okay two four six eight 10, 18, 20, 22, 24, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh, that was a lottery, right? And I don't count what I can't keep, so I hit it dead on. I thought we'd hit 40 with one bonus one that's gonna be fed to the monitor. So let's go feed it to the monitor. I think Gilly would probably like it the most. Now here's the funny part about Gilly. See, he's, he's, he's not even in there, right? Okay, here we go. Gilly! Gilly! Oh, his head's up. Oh, Gilly, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh boy. He comes over quicker just for a pet. Come on! Oh my goodness, he comes all the time. Come on! It's not that early. Get him. Here we go. Come. Oh! 
He's come over at least 50 times for no food and maybe four times for food. I don't normally feed him. I have a hunch he won't even eat it because he what doesn't recognize it as food. I fed him, so, oh, he did. You know why? Because I fed him too. I already broke one open for him and made a little hole and put the odor on the inside, on the outside. So he already knows this one. Oh. You don't want this, do you? Oh, <laughs> now, now you're excited, huh? Come on, come on, Gilly. I know nothing. Okay, okay, don't get it all over me. <laughs> and there's what the eggs are used for if they're infertile. I hope you're living your dream, whatever that looks like, and uh, Gilly's living his. Anyway, peace out. Have a good day.